representing Australia. How are we? Well, guess what I'm about to do? <laughs> My favourite is chore, and I'm sure it's your favourite chore too, especially when you're on the road. Seriously. Washing. We all go do it because we all wear clothes and they, you know, need freshening up. First ingredient is we actually have a Wonder Wash little tumbler machine. It is brilliant. It takes six litres of water to do a load of washing, um, which is, you know, great for us because it's just the two of us living on the road. Um, here we have a container of water. It's recycled water. Um, we unscrew this lid because originally we bought it to drink. And then when we're heating up the water for our shower, we just put the water straight in there. Um, so we're not wasting water because as you all know, water is a really precious resource. So that is my 10 litres of water there and I'll take about six litres of water for a load of washing. And because we use the magic wool wash, and a lot of people do recommend Martha's wool wash over some of the cheaper alternatives, this product is brilliant. You do not need to rinse your washing when you use this. Um, Grain Nomads told me that and thousands of travellers all around the world use wool wash when they're washing their clothes. For this size wash, you only need about two teaspoons of this, so very little. Um, and you can either whack your clothes in, give it a good spin and put them straight out after you hand wring them, because the old hand muscles, or you can just put it in, stir it up, let it soak for a while, just like you would at home sometimes. So, we're going to unscrew the lid of the washing machine. It has an airlock, and sometimes, oh, it does like me today. So, some people use, instead of one of these, just a big old container, um, or a big bucket with a lid. Um, that they just pop, do the same thing with their water and they will just put their clothes into it and let it sit in their bathroom as they're traveling and hey presto, when they get their next stop, their washing is done because of the agitation from when you're driving. Whoa, yeah, six liters or 10 liters of water's hard. All right, now you just very carefully, because this is going to wiggle around a little bit. your water in and hope your washing machine doesn't come around the other side mm. always try to make sure you capture your water when you're going to have your shower because you know, whether you use it for doing your washing or to just keep in a container or put in your kitchen sink throughout the day so you've got somewhere to wash your hands um, rather than turning the tap on and off all the time. So about two teaspoons, not much, just a little bit. Who ever bothers measuring nowadays? I don't. And then you pop your clothes in. So, you know, it's two pair of shorts, a couple of shirts, and yes, a pair of jeans will actually go in this wash. So I actually thought no way would I be able to wash jeans um, in this little baby, but surprisingly you can. So you just pop it in there, and then I'll put a little bit more water in. Sometimes you use a little bit more than six litres, but you want that water to be able to get around and slush around the clothes. And then, got to make sure I put this on straight, because that's uh, good on, airlock. Twist it back up. Nice and tight, because you don't want it leaking when you spin it around. This is for when we rinse or drain the water, so we'll use that later. And, takes a little bit to get all the clothes wet and that is how you do your washing. Spin. They recommend you do it for about three minutes. Um, I'm quite a fan of doing it backwards and forwards a few times and I do like to just let it sit 
and just give the detergent a chance to actually get in and get all the little yucky bits out of the clothes um, or the dust because as you can see around us there's lots of dust everywhere even though we've had some rain it's still dusty and surprisingly hello Charlie your clothes all do get covered in dust even though you can't see it it's there Charlie just had to come and say hello. Looks like you've been digging from the look of his nose. He needs to have a wool wash bath too. And that's another thing with wool wash is if you get stuck and your little fur baby gets really dirty, you can actually wash, give them a bath in a little bit of wool wash. Uh, it doesn't agitate their skin. And um, again, they don't need rinsing, <laughs> just like your clothes. So it's a multi-purpose. And it's cheap lip to smell, so it smells really, really fresh. And yeah, isn't that right, Charlie? Charlie's a little bit upset because he's on his lead, only because there was a little bit of a dingo wandering around last night. So when Mick took Charlie for a walk, and this morning Charlie could smell something around that he didn't like, and he rushed back to the bus. So. That's why he's on his lead. On his lead for his own protection. And he's gonna open up the lid. I know that wasn't three minutes, but we're just gonna have a little look see inside. And as you can see, like all my clothes are wet. They're all wet. There's no, because of the wool wash and the amount of water, there is no suds like you get at home in your washing machine. But just for now, if I squeeze that out, there's a few tiny little suds and a really nice smell of eucalyptus. Oh, I need good smell. So yeah, like realistically, if it's just light stuff, that's all you need. Just a quick rinse, screw them up and hang them on the clothesline, which is over there. And that is our little hill hoist that when I don't have trees, as you saw previously, that I do like to string up the clothesline between trees. But when we don't have trees around us, we actually do pull out that little baby, set her up. And as you can see at the bottom of the little bucket of pegs, there are some in a plastic bag because um, when you leave your pegs out and it rains, they get wet or dusty. So I just um, tie them up in a bag, keep them in my little container, so I know where they all are and they don't get dirty or wet or yucky. That's a great little clothesline. We can actually fit a couple of loads of this washing on it. Might be a little, but she holds a lot. Um, yeah, takes a couple of minutes to put it up couple of minutes to pull it down, folds up nice and compact, lives in the, one of the back bins in the bus. So it's really just too easy. So realistically, washing and doing your laundry on the road doesn't have to be that much of a chore, although it still is anyway. But yeah, so this is it. Me doing our washing while we're traveling full time on the road, traveling around Australia, showing you guys our backyard, because it's your backyard too. Till next time, be good, be safe, bye.